Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to this week's version of the Craft Corner. Um, today, look at my little friends here. I was reading about the day the crayons quit by Drew DeWalt. This is one that you can find at your library. It's a really neat book. And I made these guys and you can also make them. Um, for starters, you're going to need the patterns, which I have made up and put in kits for you. These are um, printed on cardstock. So when you get them, you want to cut them out with scissors, which I have already done. <clears throat> The black bands that go around the crayons are on, printed on paper, so you can just cut them out. So you would need those. You would need two different colors of either paper or cardstock. So I don't know if you can see on the video, but this one's a little different color than this one. Um, I have a, a, a light and a dark green. The light green is here, the darker green is here, and I have two shades of blue. I'm going to work with the blue one right now. You're going to need your glue stick, probably some tape. If you're working with the cardstock, the glue sticks don't hold it very well. You're going to need glue dots, a sharpie, and some Google eyes. So to start with, uh, I cut out those patterns, and then you take the pattern, and one of them is for the lighter color, which is this lighter blue, and you just lay the pattern on top and cut a piece that size. Uh, the darker blue goes on the larger square, and you cut it out. And then the circle goes on the darker color. So you have two square, or two rectangles, a larger one with the darker color, a smaller one with a lighter color, and a circle. You also need a TP roll. So to start with, I use some glue dots to try and hold this in place and I think I ended up using tape too so just whatever you can get to work I put glue dots on the edges of the cardstock on the darker color and you want to take your TP roll and put it along the edges on both sides and just roll it up and seal it down. Now if it turns out that your toilet paper roll is not the same size as this square, you might have to do a little trimming, but uh, just a little, and then maybe hold it at the edges with some tape because the cardstock wants to come undone. The paper that we have, some of these I did with paper, that's a little easier to work with with the glue. And on the paper, construction paper, things like that, I've used this and it's worked fine. Um, depending upon what color you need and what you can find in the way of paper. Um, so we have this to start with. Now we're going to put the lighter blue on it. Again, I'm using glue dots to start with. There you go and put that down see how it's about the middle leaving a little bit on each side 
and make your colored band go down all the way around. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on this to hold it. Now it takes two bands from the paper that has the black bands for each crayon. So I'm giving you enough um, product to do three crayons. And I have cut out two of them. And I still have to cut this squiggly line that's down the middle. So I'm going to cut that. And this is made of paper. So this one will be easy to attach with the glue stick. Remember that you do need to protect your surface so you don't get glue on your table and lay this with the black side down and then just cover it with glue. And it's all ready to put at the top of the lighter colored band. So I'm pulling this one around so you can see I've got the top done. Now the other piece of that that I cut is right here. And I'm going to put glue on it and do the same thing. When you glue this to your crayon, your second piece needs to be spaced so it is it leaves a little line of color in between in between the two black bands you're leaving a little edge of color to show through so that it ends up looking like that now do the same thing on the bottom. You cut the black band with a, a wavy shaped line. And you put it, put some glue on the back of it. And attach this to the bottom of the lighter colored band with the straight side down and the wavy side up and then take your second one and put more glue on it and this one goes a little bit higher and again I'm leaving a space between the bands so that the lighter color can <clears throat> show through and if you'll look now see so we've got the base of a crayon <clears throat> now I've cut the darker blue out of this pattern this is going to be your top. Now in order to find the point, we're going to bend it in the middle and make a little crease. So I know where the center of the circle is and I'm going to slice it just to the center. I don't cut it all the way across, you just cut it halfway across. Now take your circle and bend it until it makes a crayon point. And when you've got the point that you want that fits the top of this, take a piece of tape here. And I would do it to the inside so it doesn't show as much. And maybe maybe a glue dot out here to hold it. 
so the tape doesn't show so much on the top of your crayon, but it still supports the point. Okay, so it's gonna sit like that. Now, um, I guess I'm gonna have to take that a little bit too. All right, now you want something to hold it from here to here. My instructions say to use hot glue. You can do that if you have your parents' permission. I'm not doing that, I'm just gonna use glue dots because they do work um, and you don't have to deal with burning yourself or somebody else. So I just put a little glue dot along the edge of my crayon here. And stretch another glue dot opposite where you just put it. So I stretched it a little bit, so it's not all one big dot. It's a long gooey mess of glue. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's on both edges. Now I'm gonna take my pointed crayon top and see where the seam is? I'm gonna put the seam at the back and the non-seam at the front and hold it down and I have a crayon. Now, my crayons ha have a little character with their faces. So I want to put little faces on, on a little face on this one. So I'm gonna take a blue dot. And these egg, these eyes are kind of small. So I'm gonna break the glue dot in half and put one on the back of each of the eyes. And again, this is his back where the seam is. So around to the front, I'm going to put a couple of eyes on here. So he has eyes. And then I'm going to give him a smile with a marking pen. So there you have your crayon and you can make three of these with my pattern or you can make as many as you want if you have other colors of materials at home. So enjoy and I'll see you next week.